Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to the channel Andrew Smith Music where we go over guitar lessons, tutorials and some gear reviews. In today's lesson we're going to be going over Hope Leaves by Opeth off their 2003 album Damnation. This is one of my favourite songs of theirs and Michael Ackerfeld himself said this is one of his personal favourites as well. So to play along with this tutorial or the album version of the song, you will need one of these, a guitar capo. I'm just using one of the Joyo capos off of Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description down below. This is an affiliate link, which just means I get a small commission if you choose to purchase through my link at no extra cost to you. This is greatly appreciated as it does help the channel, but it's not necessary. Just a heads up, because of the capo, all the frets that I mentioned in today's video will actually be two frets higher on your guitar. So for example, if I mentioned the fifth fret, this will be the actual seventh fret on your guitar, but because of the capo, it makes it the fifth fret. The first part we're going to learn is this intro slash verse riff. So we want to start with our second finger on the fifth fret on the low E. And then our third finger on the fifth fret D string. And our pinky on the fifth fret G string. And then we want to play the low E, then the D string, then the G string, then the D string. And then we have an open B string, the G string, and then the D string. And then we have an open high E string, the B string, G string, B string, G string. And then we want to play the 3rd fret on the low E string with our index finger. And then the D string on the 5th fret. And then an open E string. And then that same D string 5th fret. And now we have the hardest bit of... The hardest bit of the song, I think, which is this big stretch. So we need to play the first fret on the low E string with our index finger or your thumb if you can reach. And then we have the same finger pattern as the first bar. So we have... And then we want to play the third fret on the low E and then the D string, G string, D string. So the next part of the song is the pre-chorus. So we want to have our index finger on the low E string on the second fret. And then we have our third finger on the fourth fret D string. And our pinky on the fifth fret G string. And we want to go E, D, G, D. And 
and then we have an open B string. So we want to play the B string and then the G string and then the D string. And then what we want to do is place our second finger on the third fret on the D string and lift our third finger up. So we're playing the third fret on the D string. And then we just go up the strings from the high E down to the up to the D string. So E, B, G, D. And we play that twice. So that bar will be. I'll play it slowly for you. So we play this through two times and then the third time through the start part is the same. So we have the two, four, five, four open and then the fifth fret. And then we want to hold that fifth fret for an eighth note longer. And then we want to, then we slide our hand down slightly and we have the first fret on the low E third fret on the D string and then an open G string and then back to the third fret D string and then we place our second finger on the third fret E string and play the other three notes so we have so the whole pre-chorus bit goes like this so we've reached the chorus of the song now so to play this we want to start in the open A position like an A power chord so we have the open A string 2nd fret D string and 2nd fret G string and then we go back to the D string and then we want to slide up to the 5th fret on the A string I like to use my middle finger for this and we have an open D string and an open G string. And then we need to slide down to the second fret on the A string with the open D and G and then up to the third fret. And then we have the third fret on the low E an open D and then an open E and then the second bar the second bar starts off with the same the second bar starts off with the same A chord and we have the same finger picking pattern. So we have... But this time we want to go up the fret, so we'll start on the second fret A string. Third fret. Fifth fret. And then seventh fret, but we only play the A and the D. And then we do a quick slide up and down to the 12th fret on the A string. Mm -hmm. 
So those two bars together go something like this. So we then want to play the first bar again. And then on the fourth time, on the fourth bar of this chorus, instead of going back up the frets like we did earlier, we have a little we have a little change. So we play this so we play this A chord again. And then we have our first fret on the low E. An open D and then an open G. And then we slide up to the third fret on the low E and then open D, open G. And then we have a major bar chord shape up on the sixth fret. So it would be the sixth fret low E, eighth fret A string, eighth fret D string, and seventh fret, seventh fret on the G string. And we just arpeggiate this up to the down to the G string and then back up to the A string. So that whole bar will be this. step to learning this song is to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button as this will help the video reach a wider audience. Cheers. We then have the first little guitar solo of this song. So this one starts off on the fifth fret on the high E string. And then we want to, and then we have three staccato notes. So it'll be the fifth fret, seventh fret, eighth fret. And then we want to slide up to the 12th fret. And then we have a little hammer on from the 8th fret to the 7th fret. And then a 10th fret on the B string. And then a little hammer on pull off part. So we have the eighth fret on the B string, hammer on to the 10th fret on the B string, and then pull off to the eighth fret on the B string. And then we need to slide down to the fifth fret on the B string. And then we have the fifth fret on the G string, seventh fret G string, and then a slide to the ninth fret on the G string. So the whole thing goes like this. So the song then goes back into the verse riff that we learned earlier, which is this part up here. So we play that through the verse, then we go to the pre-chorus bit, which was our second fret on the low E. We go back into the chorus. This time for the chorus, we play the part four times and we don't have that change at the end. Last time we went up to the first fret on the low E, the third fret, and did the bar chord shape. We don't have that this time, so we just play the two bars four times.
now have the bridge part of the song. So we have these two chords here. So we have the open A string, ninth fret on the D string, ninth fret on the G string, and then an open B. And we want to play this twice. And then we play the eighth fret on the G string. So we have open A, ninth fret D, eighth fret G, open B. And then we slide down to the open A position, but we don't play the G string. We don't play the second fret on the G string as that one's an open G. So we have the open A string, second fret D string, open G string, and we play that twice before putting the second fret on the G string on and play that twice. And then we have a hammer on from the open E string to the first fret E string. And then we have a major bar chord shape on the third fret. So be third fret low E, fifth fret A string, fifth fret D string, and fourth fret G string. And then we want to play the fourth fret on the low E string, second fret and then bar the 2nd fret from the A string to the G string. So it would be 2nd fret A string, 2nd fret D string, 2nd fret G string. And then hammer on to the 4th fret on the G string. And then hammer on to the 5th fret on the G string. And then I like to finish this by playing the second fret on the G string. So that whole bridge part goes something like this. The song then has another little guitar fill over the verse riff. So to play this, we want to have our index finger and we want to hammer on from the open B string to the first fret B string and then back to the open B. And then we have the second fret on the G string. Play this with your second finger and slide up to the fourth fret and back down because then we're in position to play the last two notes, which is a hammer-on from the open D string to the second fret D string. The song then goes through the verse pre-chorus and then the chorus again. This time in the chorus, the chorus just keeps going and the song fades out. I like to do a little solo over the top of this as it's fading out. In the live version, Frederick usually does an awesome face melting solo and I highly recommend checking the Royal Albert Hall version out. You can do the same thing too. All you really need is your minor pentatonic scale with maybe the blues scale in there as well. And then you just pick and choose different notes in that scale, add some bends and vibratos, and it will usually sound pretty good over the top of this. Here's an example of something you can play. Thank you. 
If you want to keep learning more Opeth songs, then I recommend you check out this playlist over here, and YouTube also recommends that you watch this video as well.